This will be an update to the Quick Draw Weaving Program's color control screens. In this particular case, what I've added is the ability to use bitmap files that are stored on your directories. It actually has two different types. One is warp and weft images that are used for a representation of gradient threads in warp and weft. So that you can actually define, for example, on the warp, you can have one gradient thread that runs a range of colors and then you define that for all successive threads so you can control, think of it like a painted warp and a similar thing on a weft so you can define weft threads by, by rows as it goes across. Um, the other function I have here is the ability to represent threads instead of by the fixed colors from the weft diagrams. It actually will use a bitmap image to show what those are. Let me start with a warp image. And if I go back over and look at this pattern, this is the basic pattern I'm dealing with. You'll notice the warp threads are all a fixed, fixed color as indicated above. The weft threads are the same. If I ask for use images, which I can now do, it's going to use the painted warp. So you'll notice I've now got for this fixed warp thread, it's changing colors and the threads in threads vary as I roll across. I'll do a separate video that describes how to create those files. Let me go back and add, add the weft, for example. The upper screen is a drag and drop that tells me which files I'm using associated with these particular thread images. The lower box tells me which ones I actually want to use. So in this case, I've actually filled in a, a gradient warp and weft thread. You can see where the warp and weft match, solid colors, and where it's between, you can see the pattern actually displaying. Now the other thing this also does, I go back over here and I ask for the thread images. Each one of these thread colors is now represented by a bitmap. And when I come back up here and look at that thread and zoom in on it, you can actually see the texture of the photograph of thread images. And it will automatically rotate the warp and weft thread so the same colors will be used for both. So I can actually show much more of a representation of what the finished cloth would look like. It automatically zooms and scrolls and whenever you change things, it's used in those images. And I can just disable that that way. And that is what the new color control functions do, as indicated by the warp images there. Thank you.